To celebrate Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you. We've been looking back at some of our favourite moments through the years from a galaxy far, far away. We have a latecomer here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Boyega. Apologies, guys. Johnny. I overslept. When I walked back on the Millennium Falcon, I just could not believe it. The whole idea of Star Wars coming back at all is, is uh, uh, even more delightful because it's so, uh, so unexpected. It's like taking an old pair of pants out of the closet and finding a 20-pound note <laughs> in the pocket that you forgot about. <laughs> what did Chewie just say to me then? He said... Why is it so cold? This is my other dad, John's dad. <laughs> yes, Harrison Ford smells like cherries. Look, he's over there. Can you feel the force tonight? He's right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm forcing myself. <laughs> I can feel the force. I can feel the London force. I can feel the Star Wars force. I can feel the force everywhere. Can you feel the force, babe? I can feel the force. And you know what? The fact that you just said, can you feel the force, babe? Knows I'm back in London. I'm back. <laughs> I am feeling the force. My dog has the force and we brought it here to be with you. Oh, I feel it. I feel it from the top of my head down to my toes. Uh, yes, I'm beginning to feel the force. I've been feeling it gradually, but now it seems to be full strength. It is awakened, it's with you. Yes. Oh my God, can't you? It's absolutely flow flowing through the, uh, every modicum of my being. It's quite a journey, isn't it? From Ramsey straight to Tatooine. I was originally named Luke Starkiller, did you know that? We even filmed the scene, I'm Luke Starkiller, I'm here to rescue you. And then I saw the scene on the call sheet a couple of weeks later, I said, why are we reshooting that scene? They said, oh, because you got a name change. They don't want you to have kill in your name. I said, well, what's my new name? They said, Luke Skywalker. I said, oh, that's awful. It sounds like Luke Flyswatter. <laughs> Prince William and Harry, hello. Do you know what I mean? You know, a British invasion. I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's fantastic to also shoot this movie here in the UK. And uh, yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Were you slightly nervous about them having helmets on and being zombies? I, 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 I was slightly nervous about Harry trying to show off his great, great acting skills. They want him to replace me in the next one. Did he could use the force at home in any way to your advantage how do you use it if i could get the force in any way well i'd have to that's the most interesting question i've ever been asked how would you use it i would make cheese in my living room who would have believed i'd be standing at the premiere of the rise of skywalker having been in several star wars movies um yeah it's amazing how life works out isn't it did you um, steal anything from the set? Yeah, absolutely. Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me what it was? You know what I can tell you. There's a, there's a time limit on that one. I mean, if not, they just want it back. So we'll have to meet you again in 10 years, I guess. Talk to me about James Blunt. How can we do plus one? It's lovely to see him. No, I walk her dog. I walk her dog for her. <laughs> he is so good to my dog, and he's about to you know, be a father, so I'm going to babysit. We've spent quite a lot of time together, and it was horrific um, and devastating and um, yeah it's a great great loss to the world it's so clear um, her value and what she brought not just to star wars but to all of our lives mm -hmm.